Hello, welcome to Sisterhood DIY. My name's Dana, and this, I think, is my next flip. So this dresser I got from Facebook Marketplace, and it's probably the worst purchase I've ever made. And it was done strictly out of guilt, and I felt bad, and I need to stop doing that and make sure that I'm buying quality pieces. But um, I asked the lady if this was real wood, and she said yes. And when I got there, it was clearly not real wood, but she was heavily pregnant, and I just felt terrible not taking it. So it is definitely not wood at all. The dressers are all just coming apart there. This is fake wood. I, in fact, actually, I'm gonna take that back. These handles are wood. That's the only part of this dresser that's wood. The rest of it is press board. The, va the base piece is falling off. So I really have no idea how I'm gonna tackle this, but I'm gonna let you watch and we'll see if I uh, make it a, a beautiful piece of furniture in the end or if it's a total flop. So stay tuned, see what I come up with. Hi guys, I've decided to make this flip a giveaway. So please stay tuned to the end of this video to see the final product and the rules to enter. Okay, so I'm gonna let you see this close up. So you can take a look at this base. This totally falling off. It's not real wood. So these handles are real wood, but the whole drawer is not. It's, this is press board. This is all press board and you can see the finish is failing on this, the sticker thing. So I think what I'm going to have to do is get some oil-based primer. Um, I wouldn't say it's in awful condition because it's not actually falling apart terribly. It's just the drawers are not lining up, right? So I'm going to have to fix that. But you know what? My goal is to save things from the landfill. So I'm going to tackle this and I'm going to try and make it beautiful. So uh, like I said, stay tuned till the end to see what I come up with. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this hardware and give this a good clean. Because my husband and I had to walk literally through dog poo <laughs> to get this dresser. All right, I'm ready to tackle this dresser. So I'm gonna start by removing the hardware and figure out what kind of damage I'm gonna have to repair. Like I said, the um, handles are the only thing on this <laughs> that are real wood. And unfortunately, I'm still going to keep them because I just always think that I'll find a purpose for everything. I'm not going to number, usually I will go through and number them, but I'm not going to number them this time because I have a feeling that they're not even in here correctly in the first place. So I'm going to just start by getting all the hardware off and cleaning, and then I'll figure out what kind of repair I need to do because they're not real wood. I'm going to have to be really careful. I'm definitely going to have to use an oil-based primer so I think I'm gonna do to this I think I'm gonna do like a faux pottery barn um, finish on it because I know I've done um, tutorials on that before or videos on that before but this is, um, this is different because I'm taking this, like most people would put this in the trash and I just really believe in trying to save as much as you can from going in the landfill. And so my husband said, you need to just toss it. And I said, no, I want to keep it and I'm gonna make it into something beautiful. So I, turn, I turned this over just because I want to kind of look on the bottom of it and see if there's any water damage like, or any major problems with it. Um, but I don't see any. This piece, I'm just not sure. 
if I want to keep it on there or not. Problem is, if I take it off, then I'm going to have to figure out how to make it look nice on this side. So, and I have to glue that back on. So I'm kind of thinking of just cutting, uh, probably just going to take it off for now and then figure out later what I want to do with it. So I'll just, it was all just uh, nailed on. <laughs> All right, so, okay. so like I said, I'm just gonna use simple green and I'm not gonna get it really saturated. I'm just gonna get all the dirt and grime on th off the areas that I'm gonna paint. Thank you. 
am going to fill the top with Bondo. Um, Bondo is a two-part epoxy. I use it in a lot of my projects. Um, right now I'm just taping my putty knife because it's just a lot easier to clean up. All right, I've got my mask because it's pretty strong. Um, so I wear a mask and I open my garage door for ventilation. So like I said, Bondo is a two-part epoxy. You've got the stuff in the can and then you have the hardener. So you want to start out with probably less than you think you're going to need because I always end up wasting. You just get a big glob of it. And I think I've said this before in my videos, but I use the body repair, but they're the body filler because it's way cheaper. And I've looked into it and it's essentially the same thing. So I've never seen a difference. I don't, I think it sands about the same. The only difference is if you get the there's a wood one and it's kind of a wood color. So it, it matches a little better, but if you're painting, this one works just fine. There's an all purpose one, but like I said, this one is considerably cheaper. I really don't know why, but I've seen other furniture flippers use it. Um, so it's kind of my, you know, a little trick to save a little money. All right, so, okay, so you see there's some gouges and then the, all the stuff on the sides is pretty much coming off. So I'll probably go ahead and just fill the whole thing on the sides. And then I'm gonna, like I said, use a oil-based primer on this. I'll I usually, when I'm using an oil-based primer, I generally will just get the spray because, especially when you want a smooth surface, it's, uh, it's just hard to clean it out of your sprayer. So I generally will just get a can. It's a little more expensive that way, but keep going on that. All right, so I'm guilty again of forgetting to film. So I, you saw me sanding this. While I was sanding it, I realized it would have been better for me to do the oil-based primer first and then sand, but it was too late. So, or I'm sorry, it should, I should have done the Bondo after I did the oil-based primer, but you know, hindsight. So I already went ahead and sprayed this with one coat of primer. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need another coat. I had to go to the store and get some more. So, I mean, it's still, it's dry, but like, I don't want to 
sand until I make sure it's very well. Um, it's, I'm going to put another coat on. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work on the drawers. So sorry about my outdoor carpet. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to get to work on sanding these and then spray them with some uh, primer. Okay, so I've got all the drawers taped off and sanded, and now I'm about to spray them with some um, oil-based primer. Make sure you wear a mask and you're in a well-ventilated area because this stuff smells bad. So I have uh, put a little bit of wood filler on here just to fill some of the major flaws. And now here's the drawers. It's got a coat, like a full coat of primer on it. But I am now going to just do a spot priming to the spots like these right here that you can still see. All right, so I know I look crazy as always, but so I've got this dresser primed. It's still gonna need some touch-ups, like um, some little, I just wanna get a coat of paint on it before I put any more wood filler on it because I don't wanna keep sanding away the primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, spray this dresser. When I do this finish, sometimes I paint, sometimes I spray, it just depends on what I have time for. I really wanna just get this dresser done quickly, so I'm gonna spray it. Um, so I have, I just have a cheap sprayer. Oops. This is just a cheap sprayer I got off Amazon. It works fine. It's not as good as my home right sprayer, but I, that one's full of other paint and I don't feel like cleaning it right now. So I'm just going to use this one. I just have a tan paint. You can get any tan paint you want. I, a lot of times will just go to the mist tints and find something there I like and then just kind of mix to get the tan that I want. But I know like rugged tan, I think that's a bear paint is a good one. There's some Dixie Belle colors that are good paints for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this um, dresser and the drawers and then when it's dry, I'll be able to get started on the finish. I'm gonna get my mask and open my doors so I can have some ventilation though.
Okay, so I've got these painted with two coats. There's still some like blemishes, but I'm not gonna, I'm hoping they'll be hidden with um, my next, the next step. So I usually like to use a water base glaze, but um, I also have seen a tutorial with uh, gel stain that I'm gonna try. I've done this one time before, but I didn't love working with it because it doesn't have as long of a work time. But because these are not real wood, I think it's better if I use a product that's not water-based. So I'm just using a gel stain, the Briar Smoke one. So I've got um, a brush to apply a fluffy brush to brush back some of the stain. And then I've got a dollar store broom to make the lines. And then I got some paper towels to wipe back the stain off the brushes. So I'm not gonna be very generous with this because I don't wanna end up having to brush a bunch back. So you just wanna apply. and um, try and make your strokes all in the same direction because the stuff dries really fast, like I said, and uh, the whole point of this is you kinda want it to look like grain. So you wanna apply in the same direction and then you're gonna take your fluffy brush and you're gonna wipe back what you just applied. And again, try and go in the same direction as best you can. I'm not gonna work this too much because like I said, it doesn't have as long of a work time as the water-based ones. So I, I wanna kinda go quickly, so. That looks good. And then you just wanna take your broom and go through it. Make sure your edges are good. And kinda of try and make sure you're staying in a straight line. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of the drawers and then I will show you the top when I'm done.
this is ready for a top coat. I think it turned out really well. Like I said, this uh, dresser would have ended up in the trash, but I saved it and I still believe that uh, everything can serve a purpose and this might not have a whole lot of life left in it, but it'll make a cute little dresser for somebody for a little while anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my sprayer and put the top coat on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and then it'll need another coat. Okay, this has got two coats of poly on it and now I'm ready to do the hardware. I've got this handy dandy tool that I use. That's too now. Pretty good. All right, I'd say that's not bad for a pressed board dresser. Looks like one might be a tiny bit crooked. I'll get that fixed. All right, so I'm all done. I think the piece turned out pretty well compared to what it looked like before. So if you remember, this piece was a Facebook Marketplace buy and it was the worst purchase that I made. And it ended up being completely made of press board. And so I've racked my brain trying to figure out what I was going to do with it. I really do pride myself on well-made furniture and making sure that my pieces are well built and turn out beautifully. And this, I think it turned out beautifully, but it's definitely not the best quality of furniture. So I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a giveaway. You can look below and see the rules for this giveaway. But please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. Thank you.